What's up, guys? I'm back with another vlog, uh, vlog for you. I'm back on my YouTube stuff, bro. I swear, I'm I'm not gonna hold you, and I'm not gonna lie. I so the reason I haven't really been posting is because I've been in BLC and I just graduated like literally December 9th and stuff. So that's why I haven't been posting. I've been more focusing on school and stuff and whatever the case, bro. But I'm about to bring y'all to work with me today, bro. I'm about to bring y'all to work. Work. I'm about to bring y'all to work with me today. So, yeah, I mean, because every, everybody's about to go on winter block leave. I'm ready to go home. Spend some time with my girl again. And I know that you guys like, uh, I, I know I'm already tracking that you guys like the fact that, uh, when my girls are in, when my girl is in the vlog and stuff. So, um, she says, uh, I don't know. She, she kind of like falls in and out with doing YouTube herself. YouTube is a way I express myself personally. I ain't gonna lie, but I enjoy it. Mind you, it's, Currently 9.07, I'm in Germany, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. It is cold, bro. Cold. It is cold out here. So if you ever come to Germany, if you ever come to Germany, you might, you might want to make sure you have all your warm stuff, bro. You might want to make sure you have all your, like, cold weather gear, all that stuff, because it is cold. It's cold. And... Um, my, my, uh, barracks roommate just left. He just PCSed out of here. So I technically have the barracks room all to myself. You you feel me? Um, yeah, I have the barracks room all to myself, but I gotta, I gotta make, I gotta pack at some point. I gotta pack. So that way, um, uh, for block leave. So that way I can just leave and go where I'm going because like I'm ready to go home I'm ready to go and leave I'm ready to spend some time with my family with my girl because they said it's supposed to get in the negatives here I'm like nah <laughs> I'm like nah bro I need to get out of here bro I'm not playing I'm not playing with that stuff you feel me it just it just feels good to be back I'm hanging out with friends and stuff hoo wee Have to be at work by 9 30 so i'm just chilling i've been talking to, i've been talking to some guys here apparently they've been finding my youtube channel apparently so things is gonna be great stay tuned um, huh no it starts at 15. bro just chill just chill I'm saying, why here? Ain't else here. Bro, just be better than the people in your squad because half the people in your squad like to come show up last minute. I hate last minute. Every like, if I can tell anybody this, I hate last minute, especially with 90 Yankee working. I hate last minute, bro. Because now I'm now I gotta kick my working into overdrive, and then it reminded me of BLC because in BLC they talk about critical thinking. I have to crit critically think every day, every single day, because you don't know what's going to come up. Anything can come up at any point in time, and it's just like, Jesus. And then my dad emailed me. He said, Junior, I'm so proud of you, son. You're doing a fantastic job in the Army. Keep up the good work. Because I sent because I send him some of my stuff, So because he has a me book set up for me back at home. He, he he started setting it up as soon as I got in. Like I I sent this man everything, all my promotion papers, just in case. I even I have my own me book and stuff too. But just in case if that was to get lost for some freaking reason, which is very unlikely. Um, no, bro. If you you're, bro, if you're if you're an army brat and you join the military after your parents, your parents is all in on the support. Like they will not. At that point, they just won't, like, even, um, they won't even be, they're not even mad, bro. If anything, they, 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 they're, they're more supportive of you doing that than doing anything else. Um, 
people ask me, do I want my kids in this stuff? Probably, probably not. Not, not the way it is right now. Not the way it is. It's getting, it's getting more and more different. No, it's not that it's more and more different. It's just that it's kind of funny to have your kids join this stuff and you tell them the stories of what went down during your time. Like I remember times when the original goal of war was so that the next generation wouldn't have to do it. Somehow I highly doubt that. First time? For your first time. Did she come through? I haven't seen her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, quotes from like the people from the first World War and the second World War. I'm glad I did this, so my son will never have to see these. Let's be fair. No matter what they people in the past try to do, the cycle is just going to repeat itself. Partially because politicians are jackasses. <laughs> I just opened up a myth. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> you, yeah, you did. Because because I actually met the president of the United States. The current one. Biden. Yeah. I met him in person. What'd you think? Cool, very nice dude, honestly. Very cool dude, honest. Like, I get what he was trying to do. He wasn't trying to start another um, Vietnam and stuff. So I was like, I can work with that. And it's not necessarily... Hello, sir. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, 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 no. I just got done finishing up the old filing system. So it's not necessarily even your president or anything that can fuck shit up. Just regular senators can fuck it a lot of shit up. Nah, that, my mom, she, she understands my feelings about that stuff, especially where I'm from. Where from? Bro, I'm from Maryland, dude. I'm around Baltimore. Everybody everybody knows oh, po shit. politics in Baltimore is just... Oh, shit, y'all talking politics? Just, we just saying heard. sir, like, certain places, some, you got some politicians that be doing some very corrupt things. <laughs> politicians being corrupt? No. I go out to Maryland all the time. Can basically. we just act like this, can we just act like this is not a secret? Like, there's corruption in everywhere. everywhere. No matter what you do, no matter what you try to do, and all that stuff. Me and my buddies were talking, we were like, some, my buddy was like, I think all politicians should die. Like, no, not all of them. About 90%. All my dad, all my dad said is just, son, we know there's corruption. Just be better. Just don't like, don't like, not be a better person that corrupts. Just be a better person in general in the organization. Yeah. And and then I'm asking myself, dad, that's easy said than done. I'm like, probably one of the few people, one that won't go as far as doing illegal stuff, does the job right legally, <laughs> checks up on his friends, unlike most people. And all that. I do it. I do. I do. I do everything right. I do everything right. And you know, the, the biggest part about all three of those things, mm -hmm. giving a shit. Yeah. Why do you think part of the part of um, they literally said when if you're counseling somebody, empathy. They, they bro. I don't know how many times they said said that in BLC. You gotta have empathy in here. You gotta know your person. Bro, we deal with the same stuff. We all deal with the same stuff. If people actually understood what it, what it's like to really be a leader, when when a leader is partially be connecting with your people that is below you, why? Because they're probably gonna go like, "Why am I going through this?" And you can literally talk to them on a personal level. We've been there. We done. We did what you did. We do like we do. I did the exact same stuff you did before getting to this point. There gotta be empathy. There has to be empathy and compassion. I did not join. I did not join the service to become a freaking robot. Humans don't function that way. No, I'll get kicked out before you make me do that shit. I'm just saying. If I can give anybody advice on this army stuff, make friends, trustworthy friends, quote unquote. If I specify. But also, do not turn into some of these guys in here. Be better. It is not that hard to do. Do not let the don't let don't let the whole ranks dictate who you are as a person. Nope. I've seen I've seen people the rank controls them and not the other way around, and that's what bothers me. One thing I tell people I'm like, look, you're a person before you're a soldier, right? And that's people, a fact. People, that's a, that is a fact. People are people, no matter what you do to them. They're still a person. No, but that is a fact. No one's gonna sit here and tell me that 
the stuff comes first before you being a human being. Nah. Nah, bro. You got people. You get fucked up, people. And why do you think people get out the army? Because, oh, people get out the army because they want to spend more time with their families. 82nd Airborne Division? <sighs> Mad people got out. My mother was happy. I was at Bragg. I was not. Oh, because she doesn't know. Well, no, she was happy because I was an hour away from the house. Oh, oh, okay, that was explained. I didn't want to trip. No, bro. If anybody, <laughs> if anybody tells me Fayetteville's not the hood, that Fayetteville's the hood. I don't want to. I don't want to hear that. Parts of it. Huh? I said parts of it. Yeah. My, so most of my family is actually from Fayetteville. I hate Fayetteville. Those cousins I showed you, my my Samoan ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they live like ten minutes from there. I hate Fayetteville. They're in a. They're not in the ghetto part of Fayetteville. No, Fort Bragg's right next door. Yeah. Nah, yeah, you're like 10, 15 minutes away. Uh, let's see. There's them. My grandfather was in Hope Mills. He served in the 82nd. My fucking uh, great-grandparents fucking died in Fayetteville. All my friends want me back there. It's, it's... No, they want me back there because I was good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they... No, after I left, uh, one of my commanders was at Jump Master School. He found out I got moved. Bro went flat out ape shit. <laughs> he went ape shit. I'm not gonna sugar sugar coat nothing. He went ape shit. Dude was so mad. He was going to S4 fighting to get me back. <laughs> but it was like good luck because at the end of the day, right? He can't control your orders. No, I didn't even have orders to go to that trip. S4 can dictate who can be who should be moved where. Oh, I thought you were talking about the fucking orders. You know? No, 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 no. Well, people don't uh, people don't know this, but S four can dictate who should get moved he where in company troop de with sergeant major approval, and sergeant major and this and sergeant major approved for me to go to an infantry troop. So are they also the ones that allow uh, interpost transfers? Like, say uh, somebody from here were gonna get sent to a different unit. Are they also the ones that approve that? Sergeant major. S four, so I'm not doing whichever. Um, I think that's more of a like your commander and the battalion commander. But more than likely, from what I hear, most of the time it gets denied. Oh yeah, I mean, for starters, a lot of people don't even know it exists. A lot more people don't know you have to be at your current unit for a year. And the third thing that most people a year. Yeah, you have to be at this like the station you were assigned to. That unit for a year before you can even request the transfer. Um, and Bro, so, honestly, there. At, uh, honestly, after being there for a year, you might as well just thug it out. Well, the third thing that people tend to forget: the other unit has to want you. Want you? They they have to want or need you, and your current unit has to not want you or not need you. Trust me. You trust me. I'm a 19 Yankee. You guys, you guys, as much as people don't, so you, they need they need Yankees, bro. But here's the thing. Your current unit wouldn't want to get rid of you. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's that's what would stop you from moving. Well, yeah, because half these guys are getting out. But like I said, after being with the unit for a year, you might as well just thug it out. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not going to... It has to be at the same post, too. So, like, if I want to go back to group, I can't do that here. Group's not on this post as far as I'm aware. The group in Germany. I don't know where the fuck we're. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> nah. I'm here. I'm here to have fun. Get my job done. Get promoted. Do some shit. All I'm saying is that people make the army harder than it has to be. Like, bro, just thug it out, bro. Like, if you look at it from this perspective, even though you don't like some of the people in your unit, Sorry. it's temporary. It's not permanent. It's really not permanent. I promise you, you got people... Coming and going. It, it is what it is. Yep. Thug it out. And some of them fuck themselves over and leave sooner than they need. But then they're supposed to. Oh, the, the retention officer asked me, when do you want to leave? I Give me the closest date you can get me. He said August 20th. I said bet. <laughs> oh, no. I meant by that as people don't leave that. No, August 20th. I left. No, 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 no. I left around July. I took 20 days of PCS leave. Bro, I spent so much time on my girl. I actually forgot I was in the army. 
My that God. was that was the most amazing feeling in my life. I forgot I was totally in the army. I totally forgot. I was just like, like I'm at home. I'm chilling. I'm playing with my dog. I'm playing. I'm hanging out with my sisters. I'm hanging out with my parents. It felt like I was back living in the house. So, my retention officer, Mr. Mm Insia, -hmm. offered me three, gave me three choices: six months, three months, thirty days. Those are my shit out choices. I'm like, um, I'm not fast enough for thirty days. My mother would be pissed. Three months, yeah, it's not so bad, but we got plans in the summer. Mm. I go with six months, yeah, middle of October. But they because the brown had to get pushed they gave me a decent date only because I was finished. Uh, no, I was already finished with high school. They just gave me a date. They they gave me like a few months and then I I left. Oh no, I was talking about reenlisting. Oh really? Oh. Now, with my enlistment, I signed a paper. I left seven days later. <laughs> my my job my like again. I worked at Boeing. I was like, hey guys, I signed a contract. I'm leaving in seven days. They're like. Yeah, normally it's a two-week notice. I'm like, you do realize my current contract expires in five, right? No, people were surprised that I even re-enlisted. And I told them, guys, sometimes you got to look at stuff from a bigger perspective. I'm looking at the benefits for life I could I can have if I do the time. Y'all just want to trip balls. Benefits are different now. How so? They're not, they're not all as good. Some of the benefits are not as good. Like our fucking retirement is ass now. Pure Depends on how much money you put in your uh No, the fact that my mother is retired at forty four and is getting retirement every month and we're not gonna be able to touch our shit till we're almost sixty. Your TSP and Roth IRA retirement, mm -hmm. you cannot touch until you're fifty nine and a half. Why is that even a thing? I do not fucking know. I heard them say that and I never understood why do we have to wait so long to finally get it? Because they don't want to give us the fucking money that we put back. Put back? Yeah. Oh, because of the TDY thing? No, we put back our own money for that. My, like, I, I put back 6% of my paycheck every paycheck for that shit. After, hey, man, after 20, hey, after 20 years, you getting that retirement pay, but I'm talking about, like, the... You're still not, like, the actual retirement that you're... The Roth and I'm gonna be, bro, I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I'm probably gonna be making more money by the, t by the time I even get that money. I'm gonna be complete. I'm gonna completely forget about it too. I ain't gonna lie. But the the fact of the matter is, like, why am I gonna waste twenty years of my life to wait another twenty? Bro, at this point, after my three years, I want like the army works in mysterious ways, my friend. Just go with the flow. No, that shit. That shit's retarded. Bro, let's be fair. Half of us is gonna be making more money by the time we get out. So who cares? At the like at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure we're gonna make more money than our own retirement. I'm not even kidding you. I mean, I'm still not making as much money as I did at the last Bro, year. by the time, I plan on making a million something dollars by the, the, I'll be making millions and millions of dollars by the time I'm out, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. Did you uh, do anything in the stock market? No, don't need to. I do for shits and giggles. Bro, I get paid for, I get paid for my music, man. I, I'm good, bro. Like, did, <laughs> what? Well, I'm tone deaf and I can't play an instrument, so. <laughs>
dinner is basically like uh it's kind of like a ball except different uniforms like you of course everybody knows there's drinking and whatever you know we're all trying to have a good time before we all go on christmas block leave we're, we we we're like we getting out of here like i'm not staying in jeopardy not for not for christmas anyway especially since it's gonna be in the negatives yeah i'm good bro i'm good but other than that i pretty much had a really good day today I ain't gonna lie. I had a good day today. But. Actually, I haven't had this much fun in a long, in a minute, bro. Because I was in a B, I was in BLC for a month. And now that I finally got done it, I never actually took the time to actually go out and have fun. So. Other than that. I'll say this is, this is, this makes up for it. But. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and I hope you have a very blessed day. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.